that happens from time to time, I have the uh, honor, uh, honor of introducing my boss. And uh, as you can imagine, uh, it's, it's required that I do a really good job. <laughs> uh, uh, this is a very important ceremony for Bev. If you ever spend even five minutes uh, talking to Bev, you will get a sense of how important volunteers uh, are and have been in, in, in his various elected offices throughout his career. Uh, as well as that of our, our military and our first responders. Um, so, without any further ado, I'd like to introduce our Member of Parliament, Mr. Bev Shipley. Bev? Welcome. Well, folks, good evening. Uh, as Pat had mentioned, my name is Bev Shipley. I'm the Member of Parliament. It's indeed my great pleasure to welcome each of you here this evening. Tonight, tonight it's my privilege to present a very prestigious honor uh, to a number of distinguished Canadians. The Queen Elizabeth Medal was created to mark the 60th anniversary of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II ascension to the throne as the Queen of England and of Canada. Queen Elizabeth Diamond, Second Diamond Jubilee Medal, Medal is a tangible way for Canada to honor Her Majesty for her service to this great country. <coughs> At the same time, it serves to honor significant contributions and achievements by Canadians. For six decades, our Queen has supported the development of our nation and our own unique identity. To the world, our men and women in uniform have served in combat and have led in peacekeeping roles. We have also, in this great country, introduced many new technologies and advances in science, the arts, and even in our great sports. At home, we've created our own national flag. We've adopted a constitution and our charter of rights and freedoms. But during this time, many remarkable Canadians have been recognized for having made their mark at home and on the world stage. To recognize each of this evening's recipients, may I say that your contribution and your contributions are no less remarkable within your respective communities. I've always maintained that community service is the backbone, not only of a community, but of a free, and democratic society. Indeed, I know of no one who has been able to affix a monetary value to the service rendered by people like this evening's recipients. Part of the reason for that is that of this reality, it is so true, is because so much of what you do, so much of what you do, passes unnoticed, unnoticed and unheralded. This is certainly true of you who are being recognized this evening. That is because each of you do what you do, not for the glory, not for the recognition, but rather out of a sense to make the world a better place for all of us. In this, I believe you share a value with our Queen, of whom it was noted by John Massey on the occasion of her Golden Jubilee. And I quote, our Queen sails on dutifully, determined to do the right thing, as best she can, to hold firm to her coronation oath of service and commitment." Unquote. So holding firm to your commitment of service is the very thing which makes you so very special to all of us. I believe it is important for each of us and for each of our recipients to know that you were nominated for this prestigious honor by those who know you. Those in your neighbors, in your community, your friends, in your community, and your colleagues. And though you may have believed sometimes that your efforts may have gone unnoticed or perhaps even unappreciated, I trust this evening you know that that was not the case. Friends, in closing, on behalf of a grateful nation, 
I join our Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Stephen Harper, and our Governor General, Mr. David Johnson, in saying, thank you for your service and congratulations. Thank you, Beth. Uh, we're now going to um, proceed uh, to the medal presentations. Perhaps if I could ask Bev and Mark if uh, they would move to the uh, center. And uh, I'm going to call each of you individually. And um, you don't have to be shy if you'd like to show your appreciation uh, for these uh, wonderful recipients at the time. You feel free to go ahead and do so. So the first recipient of the Queen's Jubilee Medal is Mary Cole. Recipient of the Queen's Jubilee Medal, Mr. Frank Steinmach. Recipient of the Queen's Jubilee Medal, Mr. Cleon Perry. Thank <laughs> you. 
Please. Governor General. Very good. Recipient of the Queen's Jubilee Medal, Mr. Ken Richards. Recipient of the Queen's Jubilee Medal, this is Elsie Stratton. Recipient of the Queen's Jubilee Medal, Mr. Jeff Wesley.
and with our Queen's uh, Jubilee Medal uh, cake. Uh, we'll do that uh, cutting, we'll do that right here, and somebody will bring the cake forward, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> and then please don't rush off, uh, enjoy some of the refreshments and uh, the time of uh, fellowship. Lois, would you come and, and uh, sing God Save the Queen? Did you hear one, Melanie? 